Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And my name is Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And if you've never been to our channel before, our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are here today with a taste test and unboxing from... Universal Yums. Universal Yums, woohoo! <laughs> it is a monthly subscription box that we've been getting for probably over a year now. And they send you boxes from different countries around the world and it's $25 a month. And this month is... Greece. Greece, woohoo! So we're gonna jump in and get started. I will say that you get probably what, how many, about 12 snacks? Yeah, 10, 12. So you get that, and then you also get a booklet, which has a description of everything that is in the box. So you get that. And then there's also usually some recipes, some trivia in the box as well. So we'll jump in and get started. So what's our first item? First up is this, mosto something or the other. Okay. Oh, on the back it says, Great must flavored soft cookie. Interesting. Yes. And so I will read a little bit about it if I can find it. It is um, a soft wheat cookie with grape must. And we are saying M U S T. Oh. Um, and it says it is made with pressed juice, skin, and seeds and stems of a grape. Does hmm. it smell musty? It smells good. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. I thought it was gonna have a musty smell, but it really just smells like a grape. So I will say I'm not a big fan of soft cookies. I really like a crunchy cookie. Ooh, that's big. What about you? All right, this is it. Do you like soft or crunchy? Or? I prefer soft cookies. So. I probably is, like it. This is kind of cake-like. It's pretty thick. Okay. Ready? Cheers. I don't know, break the part in your mouth, it's powdery. It's very dry. Mm. Yes, I need some milk or something. It has a, um, like a spice kind of taste to it. Mm -hmm. Like a spice cake, like a dried up gingerbread cookie. <laughs> 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 like you found a gingerbread cookie in July or something from last year. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. It's very crumbly, kind of like a biscotti type texture, so. Okay. Okay. So next up, you can do the next one if you want. All right. Uh... It it's is, this. I don't know what it is. It says Serenata Triplo Hazelnut. And it is milk chocolate coated hazelnut topped wafer with a cream filling. So this looks like it melted in the sun. Yeah. So I will try and, oh, this is not gonna work very well. Oh man. So we live in a pretty hot climate and it looks like what happened was just sat out on the porch for a while before we got home and it really just kind of melted into the... Uh, so, it kind of looks like this. <laughs> it melted a lot. Yeah, <clears throat> so I'll try and get a piece here. Um, but while he's doing that, it says that hazelnuts were used for medicinal purposes way back when. And they also say that it's a cure for baldness. Oh yes, I mean, so need that. So here it is, I cut a little sliver off it. I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, and I'm not. You want to try, please? Yeah. I'm not a big um, hazelnut. Oops. Hazelnut fan. All right. Let's give us a try. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. You like it? I got a nut. Mm hmm. And it has a wafer in there, too? Yeah, it has a wafer. It says waf wafer with cream filling. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm too bad it melted. I mean, it's all melted up and stuff. Uh, anyway. I'll probably enjoy it. Okay. So the next thing um, we're gonna try are these. They're called Orient Oriental something. They are. Hmm, can't find it. Oriental Sarah Saragli. Okay. It is a syrupy phyllo dough pastry with almonds and walnuts. Um, from the description, it says it's very similar to a Greek baklava. And you like baklava, um, I thought. Sometimes. <laughs> and But these are in a roll and not the traditional, you know how you normally get them in squares? These are a roll. All right, so they're in a little tray and that's what it looks like. 
It looks moist in there. Like yeah, cookie. very, a lot of honey, honey in there. All right, so this may have been out in the, ooh, sticky. Yeah, out in the sun too. Yeah. Hmm. That's what it looks like. Okay. Break you a piece. So he just broke it apart and I thought it would be crunchy, but it's very soft. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Yep. Very soft. I like it, but you would. It is extremely sweet. Very, very sweet. Very. Sweet like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can definitely taste the honey, but I've never really liked baklava much, so I figured you would like it. All right, this is very messy on my hands, but what's next? Okay, so. This is we have next, whatever this is. Up next, that is a Krit, Krit Sanaki Pesto Basil, and these are basil pesto breadsticks. Which these would be pretty good. This um, sounds like something you would like. Mm -hmm. Basil was the hottest herb in Greek for the Greek elite, is what it says. So, oh, a little bitty like little nuggets. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I think you would like this. It tastes like okay. pesto. It tastes like pesto. You know what it tastes like? Um, what are those things called? Like, um, like bagel crisp or kind of tastes like a, not a pretzel, but kind of like a basil, a bagel crisp. You know what I'm mm, talking about? Yeah. That's the texture of it. It does have a good flavor, so. Okay, so next we have a Serenata Finger. Here it is. Okay, this one probably melted in the sun too. And it is a milk chocolate coated wafer with cocoa cream filling. Oh. Did it melt? Interesting. Probably. So it's a wafer, kind of like the other chocolate that we tried. Oh, that didn't look too bad. It melted a little bit. A little bit. So. That's what it looks like. Kind of like a, mm, we'll see. a bar. <laughs> yeah, nothing special. This is a millennia old tradition, it says. And it's cocoa cream, um, rich chocolate, and even more chocolate. So it's just chocolate on chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Okay, so this is what it looks like, a little wafer thing. Oh, oh here's okay. a piece right here. Okay. All right, I'll give you, a, you got a little piece. I got a bigger piece. Cheers. You like it? It reminds me of uh, What's that thing, the wafer? Um, Kit Kat. Yes. Yeah, kind of like a Kit Kat, but it's not as crunchy as a Kit Kat to me, and I like Kit Kats. Mm. Okay, so next thing is Tati's Chips Oregano. And these are, of course, just potato chips. And let's see here, not much to say about this, except they're oregano flavored. Are they like kettle chips? Nope. They're like a, I thought they would, oops. I thought they would be like, I finally get a big chip. Oh, I'll get a small <laughs> chip, okay. So they're not kettle chips, they're just like regular old Lay's potato chips. That's the texture. Cheers. Not bad. Mm, I like it. Mm, that was good. Hey, what's next? Okay. Did we do this one? Yes, we did. Okay, the bruschettini. Bruschettini pizza. Oh, you like bruschetta? Bruschetta, bruschettini, I'm probably saying that wrong. It says bread crisp with cheese, tomatoes, and basil seasoning. Let's see, these are twice baked. Um, let's see, this bread is typically used for deli meat, feta, olives, and crumbled on Greek salads. Oh, they're very small. They are? So, here it is, right here. Oops. All right, I'll give you the big one. I'll take the little one this time. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Not bad. I taste the cheese. 
and the basil, yeah. not really the tomato. Okay. Next up is King's Soft Cookie with dark chocolate chunks. It may have melted again, but we'll see. Yeah, and it's a soft cocoa cookie with dark chocolate pieces. Another again, soft a, cookie. Another soft cookie. But you don't really like chocolate that much. No, I don't. So, we'll see. Ooh, this is a soft cookie. Oh, very soft. It's kind of like a, looks like a brownie type texture to me. Oh, so it's kind of stuck to the package. I'm trying to get it out. Yeah, it's another thing that melted outside in the sun. Okay. Very soft cookie. Yeah. It may break. Yeah. All right. Just a small piece for me, please. Small piece? Yes. I don't think you get all the chocolate. Oh, I did. That's okay. All right, and I get a little bigger piece. Okay, cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm, chocolatey. Very chocolatey, but... But mild. Yeah. It's, a, it's chocolatey, but it's not a strong chocolate flavor. Of a bit cocoa in there too, maybe. It tastes like so. It does have the texture of a brownie, but to me, it tastes like a cheap brownie, <laughs> like a little Debbie brownie or something, like a cosmic brownie. I don't really care for that that much. Okay. So next up, Minos Nut Bar. Wait, Minos Nut Bar Peanut and Honey. So it's a peanut and honey nut bar. Now this really looks good to me. They have sesame seeds in there. You see that in there? It looks like sesame seeds. I don't know, does it say anything? Um, let me see here, I'm looking. It does not say anything about sesame seeds, but of course it looks like it. Mm, it just says is. peanuts and honey. It's very... Is it hard? Mm, yeah. If I can break this one again. All right, super strength. Got Ooh, two pieces you're so here. Strong, you're so strong. Okay. Cheers. Looks like birdseed. <laughs> birdseed. I like it. You like it? Looks pretty it's good. Like peanut brittle. Is. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like peanut brittle, but not as sweet. And I love peanut brittle, so that's probably why I like it. Yep. Mm, and then the only thing that we have left is, no, actually we have that cake thing. Oh. So the last thing that we have left to try is this, um, I can't pronounce it, but it is a sweet bread with chocolate cream. And I normally don't like these kind of pastries at all, so I'll leave this one to Howard. Um, <laughs> but it has it has a, a cream in the middle of it. Um, this is a Greek tradition. Um, they serve it around New Year's. It's considered to be a celebratory cake. And this is Not the kind good. of stuff that Howard likes. It's a big. It's right up your alley, isn't it? Ooh, look at this. Bag. Like a whole loaf of bread. Oh. Looks like King's Hawaiian bread. Oh, is there a little hole in there? It's a little yeah. hole right there. I guess where they put the, the, the chocolate. chocolate. All right, let me try and get a piece of this. So he's gonna cut out, cut a piece. And it says also, traditionally there is a coin in the cake and then whoever finds it, they have good luck. So it's kind of like a king cake, I guess. Or get a chance to see the dentist because they broke their tooth. Well, yeah, that's, there's, there's that. All right, so I cut a piece and there's a little bit of chocolate right there. I really thought there'd be more chocolate. Well, I cut the end, maybe um, in the middle. So there it is. You know, have a little piece? I'll try the bread part. Ooh, it's hard. It's dry. <laughs> Not what you thought, is it? Cheers. Reminds me of panettone. Oh, you think so? Well, I don't mm -hmm. eat it. Is panettone that dry? It tastes like bread that's been sitting out on the cabinet. It's a little dry. Is panettone dry like that? Not usually. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> okay, so that was the last food item in the box. And now... Um, the only thing left is, is uh, the yum bag. So yeah, so the yum bag, you get um, this in every single box. And what it is, is they give you, but usually it's hard candy from that country, like popular hard candies, I guess, from that country. Normally we don't eat these on camera, but there is a chew, so we may be able to eat that. But 
What's in there is a pomegranate flavored jelly candy. Oh, that sounds good to me. So that's, there's that one, that's a hard candy. And then there is a Ozu, I'm probably saying that wrong, an Ozu flavored hard candy. And oh, it's, is that um, No. I don't know how to say I don't it. Know. It may not but be it good. says what it is, is a strong grape brandy. Oh. And then there is that one, it is a honey flavored chew. So that sounds pretty good. To me, that sounds like it might be a bit of honey. Like, mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that bit of honey candy? Heard no. that bit of honey? I love bit of honey. So. I think that's it. That's all that's in here. And then, oh yeah, that's it. So that's all the candy. You want to try one of them? Um, you want to try to cut it in half? So mm -hmm. we're going to try the honey toffee chew real quick. And while you're doing that, what was your favorite item in the box? What would you? Uh, it could be the um, the uh, this thing. Oh, that baklava thing. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I don't mind the the bread we just had. Oh, really? I just need some milk with it. It's dry. So I would have to say my favorite thing in the box was this little bar right here. That's that was my favorite for sure. Okay. I cut you a little piece off the 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 honey toffee. Yeah. Cheers. Let's see. Mm, not bad. I don't really taste anything strong. I do taste the honey. This is not a bit of honey. <laughs> I'll stick with my bit of honey. But it's not bad. It's not very sweet. It's not very sweet, but I can definitely taste like a the honey flavor. I'll stick with my bit of honey. Okay. So anyway, I guess that's it, guys. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we hope that you'll do so. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.